Hi everyone, my name is Stephanie and I am a Bachelor of Social Work student who is doing my student placement at For a Safer Space. Today, I will be talking about the book American Born Chinese by Jean Yuan Yang. Last week, we looked at pages 133 to 199 about the monkey king and his journey in accepting his monkey identity and ultimately accompanying Mo monk Wang Lei Cao on his mission to the West. We also, talked, we also talked about Jin Wang's date with Amelia and Jin's favor to Greg to stop dating Amelia. We ended with Jin ruining his friendships with Susie and Wei Chen and sacrificing his soul to become Danny from the third storyline. We explored the topics of identity, acceptance, transformation, internalized racism, and social pressures. This will be the last recording for the book as we will be looking at the last sections of the book from pages 201 to 236. So the story returns to Chin Ki and Danny. After speaking to Peter at the gym, Danny heads to the library. Racial discrimination is depicted when a boy complains that Chin Ki's spit is on him and that he's going to contract the disease SARS. Danny drags Chin Ki by his braid and tells him to go back where he, to where he came from. Danny punches Chin Ki repeatedly until he knocks his head off. The Monkey King's face is revealed as a result showing that Chin Ki was the Monkey King the whole time. The Monkey King tells Danny that he too must transform back into his true form. He too must transform back to Jin Wang. We then see an older Jin Wang appear as Danny disappears. The Monkey King explains that he is an emissary of Tseyo Tse and that Wei Chen is his son. For his test of virtue, the Monkey King's son, Wei Chen, was asked to live in the mortal world for 40 years while remaining free of human vice. The Monkey King visits him once a year to assess his progress. The Monkey King also gave Wei Chen a transformer toy that transforms from human form to a monkey to remind Wei Chen of who he is. This is the same toy we saw Jin and Wei Chen bonding and becoming friends over when they first met. Things were going well with Wei Chen until the third visit. Wei Chen admitted to telling a lie to Jin's mother to help cover up Jin's date with Amelia. Wei Chen found humans to be petty and soulless and no longer wanted to serve them after falling out with Jin over Susie. He no longer wanted to be Tseyo Tse's emissary. He was going to spend his remaining time in the mortal world however he wished and to use it for his own pleasure. Refusing to let the Monkey King visit, the Monkey King visits Jin instead. We see this with Chin Ki visiting Danny every year, or really the Monkey King visiting Jin Wang every year. The Monkey King leaves Jin by telling him that he would have saved himself 500 years of imprisonment beneath a pile of rocks if he had just realized how good it was to be a monkey. After the Monkey King leaves, a business card falls into Jin's hand from the sky. It is a card to a Chinese bakery and restaurant. Jin goes to the restaurant every day until Wei Chen finally arrives. Wei Chen is seen in a flashy purple car with flashy jewelry on and is seen smoking. Wei Chen is not happy to see Jin, but Jin explains to him that he met the Monkey King and thus wants to talk. Once inside the restaurant, Jin apologizes and Wei Chen seems to forgive him. The book ends with the two of them laughing and talking in the restaurant. In these final sections, the three storylines finally combine. 
angry with his cousin, Dan beats up Chin Ki and, make a, and makes a xenophobic insult by telling him to go back where he came from. After beating up Chin Ki and revealing the Monkey King, the Monkey King makes Danny transform back to his true identity. We then see that Jin is also a few years older than before, implying that he had been Danny, his alter ego, the whole time for the rest of high school. We see the themes of transformation again, when Wei Chen undergoes his own transformation as a result of Jin's identity struggles and negative experiences, and of Jin's experiences with internalized racism. Jin's experience is parallel to the Monkey King, as he remembers how good it is to be himself, which means that he must embrace both his American and Chinese cultural identity. The book ends with Jin ultimately finding peace when he accepts his true identity. That's the end of the book. The book explored a lot of topics of race, racism, transformation, and acceptance, and I hope you liked the book. Thanks for listening.